Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 9th to the 15th of August 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading for the week. Remember these readings won't resonate with everybody Capricorn, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, so what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Capricorns for the week. Message for Capricorn, family. I'm going to pull one more card. Any other message to go with that, please? Angels, spirits, guides, any other message to go? Okay, okay, thank you. I've got three cards, four cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've got healing. Well-being. Oh, wow. Happiness. I always like that butterfly in the card because the butterfly symbolizes transformation. And we have, oh, nice, new beginnings. Capricorn, very specific messages for some of you. Let's pull another card and see what we get. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, spirits, spirits guide, message for Capricorn for the week. Message for Capricorn, please, for the week. You're getting a lot of cards, but the same, pretty much the same thing. We have recovery. Get more information. Let go. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to pull some cards and we'll see what we have. So message for Capricorn, please, for the week. Message for Capricorn for the week, please. Message for Capricorn for the week. Ninth to the fifteenth of August, twenty twenty one. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups and we have the Star in the challenge position. Advice from Spirit. The Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups is the near future outcome. Let's clarify and go deeper into the message. What do we have for Capricorn, please? Message for Capricorn, thank you. Message for Capricorn, please, for the week. Can we clarify these cards on the table? Okay, the Two of Wands. The Lovers. The Ace of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Death card. I'm going to pull a clarifier for the death card. Four of Cups. So Capricorn, this is an energy, um, the lovers is a, a powerful union energy. 
it's two deeply connected cells. For some of you, this could be within the family. This could also be within a relationship. Okay. So Capricorn, the challenge is that you are wondering what your next steps are with a person because somebody is coming in offering you love. This is a message of love, the Page of Cups. Uh, however it is manifesting with you, this is a kind of new beginning or somebody wants to bring change to a situation by offering some kind of message of love. The star is a card of hope, a card of faith, renewal, reasons to be optimistic. This is coming from a place of truth. The star card also symbolizes divine wish fulfillment. So it feels, Capricorn, that this is an energy of something that someone really wants, whether it's on your part or their part. But there's a blessed energy here with the star energy. Yeah. It could be a child. So when I talk about family members, it could also be a child. It's not limited to this, obviously. It could be a child, could be a terms of love. I mean, it's whatever this connection is for you. The Two of Cups is a bond between two people. This is two souls that are powerfully united, powerfully connected, uh, brought together by God, the divine, the universe, you know. So however that's manifested for you, it feels it could be a relationship, but it also could be in the family, with the family card coming out. Two of Wands... We have a choice or a decision here. You're being presented with that gateway. There is that gateway, that threshold towards some kind of new beginning here. Uh, and it's a new beginning that brings transformative happiness. However, you're still challenged. You're challenged. There are two paths in front of you and you have a decision to make. So whatever has happened here, it doesn't feel like this is a decision that you're taking lightly. You know, Capricorn, it sounds, um, the, the kind of message that I'm getting as well, it feels like, not conditional, but it feels like there's some conditional energy that I'm getting from you. Um, I accept your apology or accept your gesture or accept your loving message if you do this, if you take these steps or if we take these steps together. I mean, that might resonate for you. It feels like there's some con kind of, it's fine, but it's on my terms, or these are the terms. You know, it, it just feels like a little bit of um, setting some kind of boundaries or rules. This is the next, th this is the energy that I'm dealing with here, and I'm. Th I'll, I'll accept your apology, but only if we do this, this, and this. I mean, again, I'm getting that quite strongly, so however that resonates for you. It doesn't feel that you're going to just open your arms and accept it, you know? It just feels that there's... I don't like the word conditions, but it feels that kind of energy if there are conditions attached. Uh, because the conditions is it's like a a business term almost, you know, where it feels very contractual and it's not that kind of energy when we're dealing with matters of the heart. But it, it, it feels this is what you're doing to protect yourself. So with that four of pentacles, so it just feels like there's some conditions or steps that you want to take here. The four of pentacles uh, with the, the lovers, uh, this is the advice from spirit. So there is definitely an energy of, this is, it feels like a bit of defensive energy here. Um, 
The lover's card with the four of pentacles can be there's a choice to make in terms of of love or um, to do with this loving union, whatever this is for you. But it might well be somebody isn't prepared to make a decision right now. You're, you might be biding your time here. Let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. It just feels a little bit of defensive energy or guarded energy here. It doesn't feel overtly. It, it, I'm getting this energy of, of there are some con conditions attached. It, you know, we need to take, we need to do this, this and this uh, before we consider some kind of union. Yeah, the card that's come out is the Ten of Swords, a painful ending. It can be to do with um, being stabbed in the back, a betrayal, uh, being hurt, you know. Uh, it's a serious letdown, the Ten of Swords, for being very wounded by somebody. And the repeating energy, again, there's a feeling of um, this conflict, a kind of conflict or an issue going round and round in circles. And again, the Ace of Swords. A new beginning is available to you, but you're seeing the truth of a situation. So whatever this new beginning is, it's got to be in the form of truth. And I'm definitely getting this energy of, we need to take these steps before, you know, we open our hearts here, you know. Whatever this decision is, you're doing it in the form of truth and it's dealing with some kind of conflict and pain that you have been caused in a situation. So this is why you're guarded because I feel this person has seriously hurt you in the past, seriously let you down, maybe betrayed you. Uh, and you're being practical now you're you're dealing with this not from not necessarily from heart energy capricorn but but from the sheer facts of the situation you know there's this kind of like reason and factual information are getting in this new beginning so it feels somebody wants to manifest something new with you uh, but you're doing it from a point of truth yeah I, i'm definitely getting in this energy yeah that's fine you know if we take these steps um we might be able to salvage something, but somebody needs to deeply change their ways here or else I'm not accepting your apology. There is an end, I mean, there could have been an ending between you. I mean, I feel that there was. It's interesting, I literally just nudged the card at the bottom because that's come out and it's judgment. So some decision. The judgment is a judgment call, so some kind of decision or choice um, that's karmic. So whatever choice you make, it will stay with you for quite some time. We have the Four of Cups. I'm Again, I'm not willing to accept this apology until somebody changes their ways. And it means on a fundamental level, certainly with that judgment card. Um, So you're being offered some kind of apology, but you're not open to this right now until you they agree to take some kind of steps. I mean, you know, this could be in terms of counselling. This could be in terms of um, the practical considerations, how you come back together. It might well be in terms of money. It might well be in terms of, you know, I mean, you know, it's a general reading. But you understand what I'm saying. There's a choice to make with regard to embracing somebody back and I'm definitely getting in this energy someone has to seriously change their ways before you accept them back we have and I feel that there are practical steps that you're wanting to take here there is new love here Capricorn I mean this is a card of the ace of cups is self-love as well so this is again in the energy of you being guarded you protecting your world you approaching this from a very practical point of view with that four of pentacles 
and not opening up easily to somebody because the love is still there, the connection is still there, but you've been deeply hurt, betrayed, uh, let down by this person, caused a lot of pain by this person. So there's this kind of energy of, yeah, reconnection is possible, the love is still possible, a new beginning in love is still possible, but I'm not the only the only ace that's missing is the ace of wands, which is action. I'm not taking action until until we take these steps. Because there is absolutely beautiful new beginning. I mean, this is a reconciliation energy. This is two people who come together beautifully, the two of cups. They're kindred spirits. They're soul connection energy. It's a bond between two people. There's deep love. There's a deep knowing. But at the same time, when you have that love, there is always an opportunity to take advantage of it, isn't there? And play to it. And I feel somebody may have taken advantage before of the love and just assumed that by saying sorry everything was going to be okay i feel that you are wanting to lay you're, you're approaching this like i said from a practical point of view and i feel that you're wanting to lay down some ground rules uh so i definitely feel uh get more information i feel that this is there is definitely an energy here with i feel the recovery is going to be a slow one I think there is great transformation available to you in the future. There is absolutely a beautiful new beginning here. We have well-being and healing. So I definitely feel the cards are absolutely saying there will be an opportunity to forgive, let go of what needs to be let go of right now, to purge and cleanse the past, to bring great transformation to your door with regard to this person. But it, it feels some kind of fundamental steps are wanting to be taken you're looking at the next steps so it, it feels very positive it feels that there's great potential between the two of you to reconnect here but i feel that it's going to be a series of taking steps here that's what's coming back to me the most so what do we have for capricorn as the final message celebration we have go get ready to let your hair down and celebrate it's time to go out dance and play an invitation could be on its way <laughs> you know i i like this in the way that there's joy in the fact that they're reaching out here um but i just i definitely getting this energy capricorn it's going to be a slow process because you're wanting to take your time there's a guarded energy here and this 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 isn't something, a new beginning that's clouded with emotions. This is a new beginning where you're moving forward in truth. You see the truth of the situation. You see the truth of this person. You understand how they've hurt you before. And therefore, the new path that you're manifesting or opening to manifest with them is going to be a slow one for that reason, because you want to build on solid ground here. So it just feels like it's going to be a slow process and what you're interested in right now is next steps. Hidden depths. Something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Interesting energy. It's interesting because we have get more information so there may well be more information that you need. It feels quite a powerful reading for somebody, Capricorn. So uh, I hope you found it useful. Uh, I know it won't resonate with everybody. So if you did find it useful, please do like, share and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate that. And I will see you next time. Thank you.